Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'd like to make a quick announcement about construction grammar and its application to English. My textbook on construction grammar that has come out in 2014 with the Edinburgh University Press. So since this book has been published a lot has happened in construction grammar and so I'm very happy to let you know that for 2019 there is now a revised and extended second edition of construction grammar and its application to English. In the new edition, I try to cover some of the new developments that have happened in construction grammar, and I also try to focus on issues that I think really should have been part of the first edition already. Okay, in this video, I'd really just like to answer one question that you might have, namely, why should you get the second edition if you've already got the first one? Now, if you compare the two covers side by side, you can already kind of see that the second edition is much better. Um, it now says second edition, and also in this corner here, it says advanced, which of course is a great thing. And if that doesn't convince you, you know, all you have to do is put the two books side by side, and you can clearly see yeah, that the second one is much thicker than the first one. All right, um, seriously though, why should you get the second edition? Um, it has been updated throughout, yeah, so with studies that have come out after. Uh, 2014, and there are two new chapters uh, that have been added to the book. Um, what are these new ideas about? Let me just give you two examples here. Uh, so one issue that I wanted to treat in more depth is the question of uh, connections between constructions and how they're organized. There are links between constructions, how constructions are organized in the Constructicon, syntactic alternations, and all of that. Yeah? So that is discussed in a bit more detail in the new edition. Um, there is also more material on diachronic construction grammar. So some of you may know that that's something that I'm working on personally, constructional change, constructionalization, and things like that. So also that is treated in more depth in the new edition. Then there are two new chapters. Chapter 9 uh, talks about constructions in spoken language. So spoken language is not treated in a lot of depth in constructional research and uh, in the first edition I nearly uh, didn't talk about it at all so that has been rectified I'm happy to say and chapter 10 deals with scenarios in which speakers know more than one language yeah so uh, scenarios of second language acquisition of bilingualism and language contact and what knowing several languages means for construction grammar all right um, so that's that um, if you find all of this interesting, but you're still not quite sure if you wanted to get the new edition, well, write me an email and I'll be happy to send you uh, the two new chapters in, uh, their, in their draft format. Yeah. All right. So that's that for today. Take care and see you soon.